Sean here from the tour guide and today I'm going to show you the most amazing one day sightseeing itinerary for Barcelona. Seeing a great city takes lots of time. So this suggests that Barcelona day itinerary starts at 9 a.m. and ends at 8 p.m. There's lots of see in Gaudi City, so we think this is a perfect way to get from point A to point B and fit as much in as you can. Boop, boop, boop. Big kitty cat. El Gat de Botero, 9 a.m. Our tour starts at El Raval quarter with El Gat de Botero, a symbol of Barcelona located just five minute walk from La Rambla. La Rambla is a pedestrian street located in central Barcelona. This lively avenue is lined with shops and restaurants with street performers, souvenir stalls, crowding all throughout the middle of the street. It's really cool. Along La Rambla is La Boqueria. It's a really cool street market you can walk through with brilliant colors, fresh produce, and you can even like taste the local flavors you go through. It's really cool taste of Catalonian culture. The market is open Monday through Sunday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and closed on most holidays. Gothic Quarter. Just a few minutes walk from La Rambla, you will arrive to the Gothic Quarter, locally called El Gothic. Heading into it, you can find the oldest landmarks in the city, such as remains from the Roman walls. So I was talking to one of our tour guides, and they were telling me how this palace right here was where Queen Isabel, you know, was at when, when, when Christopher Columbus came back from the New World. And he, I guess he brought like, it was like a good news, bad news type situation, you know what I mean? He's like, well, bad news is we didn't find India. The good news is we discovered an entire new continent, which is pretty cool. Assuming that, uh, you know, he brought back her treasures and nice stuff for her because I guess if he didn't and he just failed, uh, behind us is where the executioner stayed. So I guess if uh, he came back, it would have been a whole different little walk across the piazza of Queen Isabel. Interessante. Interessante. Dedicated to the co-patron of Barcelona, Eulalia. The Barcelona Cathedral is a church dating back to the 15th century located in Plaza Nova. This cathedral is known for its ornate facade and many gargoyles. It's really cool to see from the outside. The lines in places like here in Barcelona, Versailles, Vatican, Colosseum, super long. Our tour skip the lines and you get an amazing experience. What's to think about? Time to eat. Spanish food is associated with tapas, which are any small portion of Spanish cuisine and are served both hot and cold. The most basic and popular tapa offered in Barcelona is called pa am tomaquet, or bread with tomatoes, which offers different types of food combinations. This bread can be mounted with serrano ham, so you can like get this little bread with tomatoes, you can put like serrano ham on top, Spanish omelet, grilled vegetables, or other different, you know, various items. Besides the bread-based food, Barcelona offers amazing dishes to extremely hungry visitors. Visit our blog for more quick lunch options. So it's been a long day of filming. I need a break and have some Spanish cava. Uh, why do that? If you could just take a second. If you like the video, click the like button. If you love the video, subscribe. You get all of our content as soon as it comes out. Otherwise, give me a minute. From the Gothic Quarter to La Sagrada Familia, there is about a 30 minute ride by underground train. If you'd like to use public transport in Barcelona, there's the option of buying a one day ticket for using all sorts of public transport. The ticket can be bought in the Barcelona underground with the ticket machines. Definitely recommend getting this. Sagrada Familia, 1 p.m. Sagrada Familia is one of the main buildings and obviously the most iconic. This religious temple is designed by Gaudi. It's not officially recognized as a cathedral, but a lot of people have called Sagrada Familia the Cathedral of Europe, given its global popularity. It was started more than a century ago and is still under construction. A lot of people say that you can just view it from the outside and that's completely okay, but those people are lame in our opinion. Go inside the buildings, check it out, see what's inside. You know, you'd be ood and odd, and at least you won't wonder what it looks like. We offer a tour that allow you to skip the line and you have a guide to inform you all the history of this unfinished church. It's amazing, check it out. You know, obviously I'm a little biased because I kind of own the company that sells this tour, but tours are cool. So either do it with us or do it with someone else. Our Barcelona Day Tour covers all the major attractions plus some hidden gems. This walking tour includes Sagrada Familia, Casa Batlo, Casa Mila, Park Güell, and a coach ride to reach the more remote sites. From Sagrada Familia to Park Güell takes about 35 minutes by underground train. Park Güell, three o'clock. So here we are, the next stop, Park Güell. Envisioned by Gaudi as a luxury residential area outside the Barcelona city center. You will learn all about Gaudi's colossal ideas 
from this complex and why they never actually fully came to fruition. Nowadays, Parkwell is the most popular park in Barcelona and a fantastic place to see the city from above. Before your tour is over, there will be time for scenic photo of the city from the Trencadís adorned balconies of the park, rising above its iconic dragon stairway. It takes about one hour and 10 minutes by public transport to get from Parkwell to Montjuic. You can also hop a taxi there pretty quickly in about 25 minutes. Montjuic, 5.30. Before you leave this city, you should definitely visit the mountain of Montjuic. This is like one of my favorite places from Barcelona that I've been. It's really, really cool. From the mountain, you can see unforgettable views of Barcelona as well as astonishing views of the sea and the entire city. It's just really neat. You can easily get to Montjuic using public transport. You can take the funicular, which is like a uh, cable car up to the top and it leaves you really close to the top of Montjuic and you get just a really cool view. So from there you can explore the sights of the mountain, you can see like there's a little park there, there's a castle on the top, it's, it's really cool. Uh, from Montjuic it could take about 45 minutes of public transport, maybe 20, 25 minutes by taxi. After a long day, it's time to relax. So check out the Gothic Quarter, it's a good place to do it. To taste Spanish taps in Barcelona, we recommend you eat like a series of restaurants. So I'm just go to one place for dinner, kind of like move around a little bit. Uh, you can definitely get the best local flavors by doing this and understand the history. So like tapas eating is all about sitting down at a table with your people and eating tapas to socialize with friends or family after work and before like maybe dinner time rolls around. Uh, if you want to really get a good authentic way of doing it, you can join our food tour because that's basically what eating tapas is. It's a food tour. So it's really cool. We have a traditional Barcelona food tour, tapas, wine, and it even includes a full dinner. It's awesome. Check it out. So we did it. If you like the video, then like the video. If you love the video, then subscribe and we get all of our content as soon as it comes out. Otherwise, adios. 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 I like this song. Adios. I guess when I say adios, I gotta, I gotta go.